Meharry Medical College in Nashville, Tennessee is now less than two weeks away from testing an antivirus drug to, get this, prevent COVID-19. The disease has been ravaging, of course, many African-American communities, and an HBCU is now on the front lines in the fight against the pandemic. And joining us tonight to talk about it is the president and CEO of Meharry College, Dr. James Hildreth. Welcome, doctor. And uh, we begin with the big question. What does this project mean to Meharry and to the African-American community? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. I'm really pleased to be with you. Uh, certainly for a disease that ravages African-Americans the way it does. Meharry's history of serving the underserved and being committed to the training of African-American physicians and dentists. This project is very important to us because we have a chance to, to take part in a process that might save many lives. And so we have been engaged in infectious disease research for quite some time. So it's quite natural for us to be involved in this fight. And we are actually taking two drugs that we were developing for HIV and the other one for Zika virus. We are changing the composition somewhat and testing those uh, drugs against uh, COVID-19. And that is the push we're having right now. And that's a collaborative project we're doing with the NIH and with uh, our colleagues in Brazil. Yes, that's right. So that was Dr. Donald Alcindor who worked a few years ago on that successful antivirus to the Zika. How, how was he using that uh, and learn what he learned about that to attack COVID-19? So viruses belong to large families depending on whether or not they have DNA as their genetic material or an RNA as their genetic material. And so it turns out that COVID-19 belongs to a large family of RNA viruses. And so Dr. Alcindor is taking a compound that he was using for another RNA virus and he's changing the composition slightly to make it target the COVID-19 virus. And we're very excited that this uh, compound might have significant activity against that virus. And of course, we have a lot of work to do ahead of us, but I'm really excited that this compound that was so, so potent against Zika could have a potency also against the COVID-19 virus. So we're basically taking an existing compound changing the composition and testing it against this new virus. And, and doctor, you must be extremely proud because uh, there are so many universities and institutions out there competing to try to figure out a way to solve this. Uh, you may not have the biggest budget in the world, but you are on the front edge and the cutting edge of this. How proud of you are, are, this, are, are you of this program that you're putting forward? Well, I think as a, a scientist myself who's been working on HIV for like 30 plus years, I'm excited to be part of a process that might find an answer. The other thing I'm excited about is, and people need to know that the global collaboration among scientists for COVID-19 is not like nothing we've ever seen before. Literally, people have stopped what they're doing who work on other things to work on, on COVID-19, and they're doing that collaboratively. So I think for Meharry Medical College, being such a modest institution with a modest budget, to be part of something so big, that could be so impactful. Of course, I'm proud, uh, proud of my faculty, proud of my students, proud of the institution and our legacy. And this is just part of what we do. So yes, I am very proud. And how does Meharry help bridge the gap of trust for the healthcare industry in the black community? Well, you know, having done what we've done for 143 years and having been founded to give opportunities for African-Americans for healthcare and for learning to do healthcare, we, of course, I think have earned significant trust in the African-American community, but beyond that as well in, in Nashville. And so I think that for a problem like this that cuts across uh, politics, health, social constructs, it's great to have individuals involved that the community can, can trust. And I honestly believe that uh, having trusted messengers and trusted opinion leaders is vital to us to find a solution for this especially in our communities that are being ravaged by, by this virus. So I think that is a big part of why we want to be at the front edge of this, to make sure that people that we care about can benefit the, from the medicine and science that is happening today. Well, doctor, uh, I say this with great pride, uh, Dr. Edwin Lee, the late great Dr. Edwin Lee was the first black pediatrician in Springfield, Illinois. He delivered both me and my sister, and he was a Meharry graduate. So uh, awesome. we're, we're totally uh, uh, proud of the effort that you're putting forth there. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us and thank you for your time and your hard work. And thank you for what you do in getting the message out. It's much appreciated and very important. Thank you. We're you're trying. Welcome, Doctor. Thanks welcome so much. Anytime.